Okay. Okay. I must be in a good mood today. Okay, here we go. Secret Tarot, first quarter, four of wands. Uh, I do not know if you're married or not. If you're married, if you're married, renewed commitment, renewed love. <laughs> I'm, I need a couple more clarifiers here to see if this is the marriage card or what this is about. Because I'm thinking it's probably more a little bit more about life purpose. So I see it more about life purpose, but potentially I do, I am hearing that there's uh, someone running around. Um, <laughs> uh, there's someone that's watching, not in a weird way, okay? Um, or that you already know. Uh, so there's some potential there if that's what you wish. And I hear if that's what you wish. It's really up to you, right? Um, we get to a point where it truly is up to you. Okay. All right, so here we go. We've got the four of wands. But as clarifiers, we also have the five of wands and the king of swords. So I'm going to take this away from romantic for a moment because I don't believe that it's really meant for romantic purposes. It could be dual, but I don't think this is romantic. I think in this case, this is life purpose. And this is really the coming into, as I was um, saying with a couple of the others, coming into a deep relationship, a deeply committed relationship with spirit. And where you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, spirit is yours and you are his. Where you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the two have become one. There is going to be conflict coming your way first quarter if it already hasn't hit. Potentially family, potentially friends, but I feel like even it could also be, you know, people in the community, in the tarot community speaking. Um, you know, for some reason out here, as they say in these YouTube streets, there's been a lot of drama amongst some other folks. And, uh, you know, like some like vloggers and things like that, and even amongst some tarot readers. But I feel like there is some conflict where there's going to come a moment where you have to be very king of swords, where you're going to have to speak the truth in love and with leadership and being very direct and being very pointed with your communication, both with spirit and with man. So that the you can bring resolution to this conflict. All conflict is not bad. I say this over and over again. Conflict is no bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Something's a brewing, honey. Um, second quarter, seven of cups. Lots of wonderful choices to make. With the strength card. Yeah, boy. Whoops. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is what this is telling me then for second quarter. Lots of very good decisions, lots of decisions. You have choices. You're going to have many choices all along the road. And you're going to have choices, none of which are going to be necessarily bad, any one of them. Um, some may be better than others, but none of them bad. The choices, though, also, they're going to impact other people. So you're going to have to use your quiet strength in order to make the choices that are best for you and in actuality best for others, even though they might, may not see it. And you're gonna be very alone in this in this, in this this uh, journey. 
in this part, this is a decision you got. These are decisions you have to make on your own, potentially in regarding to family. Um, let me get a little bit more. Why is it seven of cups here? Well, this is about good about money though, honey. I keep hearing jealousy. Yeah, and but you're going to be very passionate about it. This could be a fire sign also. There's a lot of fire energy here. This could potentially be a Leo. I don't know what your sign is. This could potentially be a Leo coming into your life as well. And this might have to do with that Leo. I feel like this Leo, whoever this is, if it's a Leo, this person that's coming into your life may have something to do with it. But this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a decision that's going to bring you good abundance. You're a Libra. Okay. I don't know if he's a Leo, but this is going to bring you abundance. So you may be going a different direction with your channel. You may be expanding the services on your channel. I don't know, but whatever this is, I he keep hearing jealousy and that people are going to say, well, why is she doing that? And then, and then, and then, and then, I can't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, and it's only because they're jealous. But you're going to have to make a decision. And I do also think that's going to be tied to whatever conflict that you're basically going to help bring resolution to. I It could be an Aries because I have a lot of fire. I have a lot of fire. Here. And it feels aggressive. Yeah. Feels aggressive. I need one more for this, please. Yeah. Uh, two of cups. The, what I how this so these two have everything to do with each other. They're gonna come in quickly, hot and heavy, hot and heavy, child, hot and heavy. Here they come, here they come. Uh, but I do see a different direction for your channel. That's gonna be rather, um, rather unconventional, and people are gonna be jealous. They're gonna be jealous of 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 your of your success secret tarot so just be prepared for it and don't let it bother you third quarter the world new chapter honey i love my aries y'all can't say nothing about my aries my daughter's an aries i'm aries moon i had a lot of fun with a lot of, with different aries in my life i tell you one thing if you in a if you in a fight you need an Aries or a Scorpio. No joke. Okay, the world. So third quarter, uh, you'll be a little less closed off than you have been in recent history. A little more open. Uh, your finances are going to get looser as well. And that's going to have a lot to do with you're making a decision that is not always the popular one, but you knew it was the right one for you. Finances are going to start. And here's your Aries right here. There's your Aries. So you'll be a little bit more open to him. You know, in a good way, your heart. Allegedly. Allegedly, that's your Aries. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, I see you unburdening yourself, releasing some of those old burdens that you may still have been hanging on to. And if there was like contention between the two of you, like reasons why you haven't gotten together up until now, I do see all of that being released. Okay. Um, but also do tread carefully, but you'll begin to see some of the manifestation. Uh, just tread carefully. Don't spend a lot. Don't spend a lot of money in third quarter. 
Don't spend a lot of money in third quarter. And finally, fourth quarter, here you are, judgment. Um, this I always read judgment as life purpose. So judgment card here says to me that by the end of the year, uh, you're going to be really in, a, in full swing with your life purpose, at peace with the four of swords in balance and not being able to give out of abundance with the six of pentacles and here you go here you go with the um uh, i call her the maven of manifestation the empress card uh it's really it's birthing it's happening by the end of 2019 because again of course energies are fluid yes i see that this this vision that you've had right for your channel or for whatever it is your next endeavor you wish for it to be really comes into fruition and it comes in its fullness and you're able to birth that baby this year. Okay. Thank you so much, Secret Terror, for letting me read for you. That's like a crazy, that's a crazy honor. I really do appreciate it.